Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Ace money here, Sportsbook Robbery. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, a couple games on the slate. First game's already into it. The uh, Atlanta versus Connecticut. I put a couple plays in the community, but I saw it uh, a little parlay. You know, I don't do parlays. I just messed around. Uh, lines came out real, real late for uh, the rest of the games. Uh, sorry for being late. I'm not going to go over the line. I'm just going to jump into the into the props. So we got Odyssey Sims points over 11 and a half, minus 104. Fandle. Uh, been playing this. Moved up to the starting lineup. She's been doing really well. Very aggressive. Uh, she also gets assists. If you want to look into that, I just played her points. Played this four out of the last five for the year, 80%. Uh, shooting 50% from the field, 30% from three. She could get better at the foul line, but she's uh, she's aggressive. She plays defense. She can drive. Um, if you play one of them fantasy sport things, I would look into a fantasy points because she does it all. But, uh, let me get right back into that. But yeah, so uh, excuse me, so uh, Odyssey Sims, eleven and a half points. Let's get it. All right, next up, I'm going uh, Enrique uh, Enrique O. We're gonna call her. I'm going rebounds uh, over four and a half, minus one thirty. Fanduel got it at one forty five on DraftKings. So make sure you line shot. She's been doing pretty well with it. Cleared this four out of the last five, last 10 games, 70%, last 20, 60 for the year, 60%. They're playing Vegas. Vegas is our eighth in rebounds allowed. Uh, she's exceeded four and a half for the last five, averaging almost six. So uh, it's looking good. She's, you know, she's... Uh, one of the primary scorers, but as well, she plays defense. Uh, she's aggressive. You know, she's, uh, she's definitely a good all-around player. So you'd be another person if you did fantasy points. Look into that. Um, head to head. Let's see what we've got. She had four. That was in the beginning of the month. Uh, in the last month, she's been going over this. Sixty percent for the year. So, especially the last four games, she's been doing pretty well. So, I'm a ride with it. Enrique, oh, rebounds four and a half. Let's go. I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. New viewers, please subscribe. Turn the notifications on if you want to get my plays, my live bets, my videos, my info. Uh, try to be as transparent as possible. If you could comment, uh, likes and comments help get the videos out there. Uh, it takes me a lot of time and effort to do these videos, and it's the only thing I ask for in return. Uh, let's keep it moving. Thank you. Appreciate it, everyone. I got Angel Reese rebounds, 11 and a half. They brought it back down. She missed the last game. Uh, they are playing the same team. Uh, Seattle's 10th in rebounds allowed. Uh, kind of glad she missed. They had it all the way up to 13, 13 and a half. So uh, they brought it back down. She should be able to go over this. I mean, it's, Law of averages would say, yeah, uh, shoot the ball pretty well. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to give it a shot. I didn't play it last game, but uh, I'm going to play it again. 
See what happens. She misses it this time. We'll lay off it. Got Reese for rebounds. Assist over three and a half. It's a little juice. Minus 150 on FanDuel. Definitely line shot because they got it higher. It's up to 175. DraftKings. Uh, pretty good hit rate. She just played them the other day. The last time they played, uh, the last game they played, she had seven. She got 68% hit rate for the year. The last five games, she's cleared this. I played her points on the last time. They dropped it down a little bit. But uh, it's one of those things where, and I laid off uh, Kennedy Carter. Usually play her too, but she destroyed the Seattle last the other day they played. So I'm thinking they might adjust and try to double her, do some extra stuff. Might leave uh, Marbury open and shoot a little more. So uh, I, I would think they're going to try to make adjustments to try to correct that. So I'll lead off it. Uh, she does get assists, so I figure I'll stick with them. It's looking good. Succeeded three and a half in seven straight games. So I'm going to give it a try. Uh, Marina Marbury assists over three and a half. Camilla Cardoza rebounds over eight and a half. Uh, 119 minus 119. I played it on DraftKings, 120 minus 125. <laughs> Uh, Seattle's 10th and rebounds allowed. Like I said, they just played them the last game, and she didn't go over this. She got it. Ended up with eight. Uh, for the year. She was playing a lot less minutes over here, so that's why it was a lower. But since her minutes went back up to 30 minutes, she's been going over this. So uh, I went back to it, give her another shot. She gets a lot of uh, offensive boards, too. She don't just do defense. Last couple games, uh, four offense, four defense, five offense, five defense, six offense, four defense. So she's got a good chance to go over this. She's doing it on both sides of the floor. A lot of players just get defensive rebounds. But she's out there causing havoc. So uh, I'll give it another shot. Shot bounce it back. Camilla Cardoza rebounds over eight and a half. Phoenix at Los Angeles. Uh, I'm going with Hamby over three and a half assists. Phoenix is ninth in assists allowed. Uh, she's got a 55% hit rate for the year. Last five, 60. If I break it down to our uh, home games. It's gone over this 8 out of 10. Uh, 7 out of 9, sorry. 78% uh, hit rate. So uh, she exceeded three and a half in seven of the last eight games at home, averaging about five. So I figured I'd give it a chance. Uh, they did play overtime. They won against the Aces the other night, the last game. So I took that in consideration with her points, thinking possibly she might go under. And uh, with Phoenix allowing so many assists and everything else and as well as she's been clearing this i decided to go with assists so i got handy over three and a half assists all right last stop i'm going uh rakia jackson points over 11 and a half minus 110 draft kings fan duel uh i didn't say it enough this video always line shop uh, your odds have several books as well as line shop the lines. You could always all line it back, do that. Uh, points over 11 and a half. She's cleared this the last three games. 45% hit rate for the year. But uh, 
He's been playing good the last couple of games. Phoenix is ninth in points allowed. Last five games, he's cleared this the last three out of five, 60%, uh, 14, 12, and 14. He's been shooting the ball pretty well, 41%, putting up like 10, 11 attempts, 40% from three. He's putting up about four attempts. Not that great from the foul line, but her, you see her shot's been going up. She's been getting better. So, uh, yeah, I just like that. I feel like they'd be giving a little more attention to uh, to Hamby and he Jackson. She got a nice shot. She came off the bench, and she was doing real good the other day. So uh, she, she earned the shot for me. All right, I'm sorry for rushing through this. Uh, the lines came out really late early this morning. I didn't get to make the video last night, and uh, today I had some things going on. Got uh, 13 months sober, so I uh, had a meeting to go to a little, not a celebration, but to do a little thing with a coin and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I had to take care of that. Then the computer kept crashing, the program, you know, because I'm in a rush. Of course, that's going to happen. But uh, I appreciate everyone. Uh, it's been a good couple of days. Hopefully, we keep it going. Likes, comments, please, and subscribe, new viewers. Let's keep it moving. Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.